Africa's smallholder farmers lose up to 40% of every harvest. The culprits? Insects, rats, and mold. These post-harvest losses have a greater negative impact on Africa than conflict, HIV, and malaria combined. Welcome to Gulu, Northern Uganda. My home, a home once torn by the war in the 1990s, where thousands of children trekked every night from the countryside into the town to avoid being kidnapped and turned into child soldiers. These same individuals, now adults, are the pioneers of the most promising developments in African agriculture. Farming communities in Gulu have found a simple solution. Using airtight bags and silos to choke insects on their own carbon dioxide. This really works, it has been proven. Coupled with training on how to dry safely and store their grain, they have had a sustainable impact on their livelihoods, food security, health and nutrition. While it started here in Uganda, now over 320,000 farming families across Africa and 16 countries have decided to participate in the World Food Program's Zero Food Loss Initiative. These farming families are not aid recipients. They made an active choice to fix one of their biggest challenges, buy hermetic storage, feed their families, and then sell the surplus. Well, over half of the participants trained are women and increasingly they are in control of their and their families' futures. Being able to safely store at home has a massive impact on the socioeconomic status of women as they are able to control the time as well as the price of sale. The World Food Program Zero Food Loss Initiative's mission with Africa's estimated 200 million smallholder families is to achieve 100% awareness that there is a better way and that by 2030, 50 million smallholder families have adopted improved hermetic storage. WFB's experience shows that the overall cost for this will only be $655 million. That's only $3.27 per family to achieve massive improvements in food security across the continent. Simple airtight storage, which can be produced locally, paired with better post-harvest management training, could solve one of Africa's greatest challenges. And at scale, it could transform the entire continent and enable the World Food Program to depart as people grow and store their own futures. <laughs>